The town of Paradise Valley has long been known as one of the premier places to live in the Valley of the Sun. How did it get this way and why is it such a desirable place to live? Let's jump into that right now. The town itself began in about 1961 when residents got together to annex land together to make the town. These residents saw Phoenix growing and they wanted to protect their paradise and their way of living. And that is how it all got started. Okay, there was a little bit more to it than that because they actually had to annex more land into Paradise Valley to make it the size that it is today. But in a nutshell, that's how it started. Now the town is mainly zoned for single family residences. You will not see very many commercial buildings or businesses within the town of Paradise Valley. So there are no grocery stores. There's not a lot of shopping directly in the town, but don't worry, right outside the town are plenty of grocery stores and world-class dining and shopping. You are also only 15 minutes away from downtown Scottsdale as well as downtown Phoenix and just minutes from Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport as well as the Scottsdale Airport. The city actually has a very rich history of homes built within the town, starting with the Edward L. Jones House, which is actually listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Then there's the Goldwater Residence, which was built on top of Scorpion Hill back in 1952. And this house was actually constructed with sandstone from the Navajo Reservation. There are two homes designed by Frank Lloyd Wright that are also located right in Paradise Valley. They are the Harold C. Price Senior House and the last house that Frank Lloyd Wright ever designed before his death, the Norman Lice House, which at the time of me filming just hit the market for $7.95 million. Speaking of Frank Lloyd Wright, Taliesin West is actually located in North Scottsdale and it is steep with a rich history of architecture. The McCune Hormel Mansion was built in 1967 and located atop Sugarloaf Mountain. This house was built for the Pennzoil Air. It was later sold to Hormel Foods Company Air, George Hormel, at 52,000 square feet. It's the 13th largest privately owned home in the United States by square footage. Now there have been many prominent business owners and celebrities that have also lived within Paradise Valley one being Bill Keen and his wife, Thelma. Bill was a creator of the daily cartoon called The Family Circus. And there's actually a statue commemorating his legacy at the railroad park right there in Paradise Valley. Now, other people that have lived in Paradise Valley are Alicia Keys, Muhammad Ali, Stevie Nicks, Larry Fitzgerald, Sandra Day O'Connor, Bruce Holly, who was the founder of Discount Tire, and the Waltons, who founded Walmart. Now, some of what makes Paradise Valley really special are the lot sizes. Now, when the town was started, preserving the environment was one of the top priorities. And because of that, they determined that lot sizes needed to be at least an acre and homes had to be a minimum of 2,000 square feet. Now, by today's standards, 2,000 square feet is quite small for a house in Paradise Valley, but that's where it all started. Now, because of this extreme care for the environment, they instituted a light and noise ordinance all throughout the town. And they were one of the first towns to actually have an underground utility ordinance. The town residents volunteered their time and their talent to reduce government costs, and many of the board's commissions and committees are actually run by resident volunteers. The town of Paradise Valley sits in a prime location and is close to just about everything, and sitting within the town of Paradise Valley are two mountains. One is the iconic Camelback Mountain, and the other is Mummy Mountain. Now, if you love hiking, there are trails on both of these mountains that are not to be missed. In fact, during our amazing weather, people hike this so often that if you go day after day, you will likely start seeing all the same faces. Now, homes are built on the sides of these mountains, but because of the environment, again, they have very strict hillside ordinances on how the homes need to be constructed. Homes within Paradise Valley currently range from about a million to, to 24 million. And buyers that are not really familiar with the town of Paradise Valley will often request that they would like to see homes only in gated communities like Clearwater Hills, Judson, Finisteer, uh, Casablanca Estates, Mountain Shadows Resort. The majority of homes within Paradise Valley are not in a gated community. However, if security is a priority, do not worry. Many of these homes are gated unto themselves. Some have walls as well as shrubs for the ultimate in privacy. Now while driving around Paradise Valley, you will see a lot of construction. There have been many homes that have been purchased, torn down only to be rebuilt again. In fact, the one right here in the, behind the screen screen, I actually sold this earlier this year, just to be torn down. How much do you ask was the sales price? 1.85 million. And the home to be built is going to be stunning. 
And this is happening all over Paradise Valley. Now, when it comes to homes within Paradise Valley, there is not one style that defines the entire area. You will find an eclectic mix of homes, anywhere from 1950s ranch style homes to steel and beam ultra modern homes to mansions with big pillars to Spanish colonials and everything in between. Now, remember when I told you there was not a lot of commercial? I would be remiss if I did not mention one of the staples in Paradise Valley, and that is the El Charo Lounge. This restaurant has been there since the beginning, and whether you're sitting inside dining or outside on one of the lawns for an event, you will likely be staring right at the head of the camel of Camelback Mountain. The views here are stunning, and don't forget what they're famous for, those sticky buns. Paradise Valley is also home to some amazing resorts like the Sanctuary, the Mona Lucia, the Camelback Inn, the Phoenician, and the Mountain Shadows Resort. And the most awaited one of all time, the Ritz. And as you would expect, all of them have a spa component and most also have golf. Now, a few of these also have a residential component, which means you have the ability to use the resort privileges at your home. Now, if you are looking for some of the most opulent living, the Ritz has a building coming called the Fendi Private Residences. And you guessed it, it is all designed by Fendi. Now, this will be located at the Pomeroy, which will also have over 60 boutiques and 12 restaurants. None of what's coming at the Pomeroy has been released yet, but I know somebody that actually works there and she's heard a few hintings and it is going to be amazing. I do not know if they are, but I trust her. It is going to be amazing. Now, if you're looking for a private club within Paradise Valley, you've got the Paradise Valley Country Club. This is a traditional invitation only member owned club with about a thousand members. It has an 18 hole golf course, tennis, swimming, fitness facility, and a ton of social activities. You also have multiple different opportunities for golf that are not private right in the town of Paradise Valley. You have the Phoenician Golf Resort, you have the Camelback Golf Club, and you have the Mountain Shadow Short Course. Now, if this is not enough golf for you, you only need to drive about 10 to 15 minutes outside of the town of Paradise Valley to have a plethora of additional golf course options, either public or private. Now, the school district for Paradise Valley is actually the Scottsdale Unified School District, but there are other options within the town of Paradise Valley for both charter and private schools. And if you're looking for another luxury community, Take a look at this video right here where I dive into DC Ranch and Silverleaf, which are often compared to Paradise Valley. Now, if I can answer any other questions, please feel free to reach out. My contact information is all down below. As always, I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.